Buenos días a todos y bienvenidos un día más al canal de Arlequina Lunática. Hoy estamos aquí de nuevo en A Vampire Story y vamos a continuar la historia de Mona. Bueno, tengo muchas ganas de saber cómo continúa esto, ya sabéis cómo quedó ayer la cosa, así que vamos para allá. My name is Mona de Lafitte, and I'm inquiring about the horse that you are selling. I... I'd love to help you out, but I can't right now. Is there anything I can help you with? Actually, maybe you can. You see, the door's locked, and my son threw the frickin' key out the window. Now no one can get in or out. If you help me get the door open, I'll give you the horse. Hombre, pues vale. Podría volver en otro momento. Uh, a ver... Would there be a better time for me to return? Probably, but I don't know when that would be. Why not? Like I said, I'm stuck in here, and until the key is found, there's not much I can do. ¿Por qué hablas de forma tan rara? Why do you talk so strangely? What are you talking about? Your accent. It's unlike anything I've ever heard. Oh, that? My husband and I just moved out here from New Jersey. Quisiera alguna información sobre el caballo. I'd like some information on the horse. What do you want to know? What's the horse's name? The man we bought him from in Italy said his name is Il Cavallo Senza Valore, but we call him Buttercup. The what breed is it? It's a miniature Albanian Appaloosa Halfling Pony. That's quite an impressive sounding breed. Well, he's actually just a mutt. How old is he? I'm not sure, really. But judging by his size, I guess he's pretty young yet. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que le cambiaron las cerraduras? When was the last time you had his shoes rotated? Oh, we regularly rotate Parece the shoes every six months or 7,000 miles. ¿Cuántos kilómetros lleva andados? O sea, How many kilometers has it been ridden? Well, the pedometer was broken when we bought him. But the man who sold him to us said he only had 90 kilolegs on him. And we haven't ridden him that much since then. No tienes otra llave? Do you have another key somewhere? My husband has one, but I don't know when he'll be home from work. What does your husband do for work? He's a door-to-door -door spatula salesman. Sometimes he leaves for days at a time. Me encantaría saber más sobre Nueva Jersey. I'd like to hear more about New Jersey. Sure. Like what? ¿Cómo es aquello? What's it like there? It's actually pretty nice, especially once you get used to the pollution, overpopulation, traffic. It sounds delightful. Hay opera allí? Are there any operas there? Oh, yes. Really? That's what I miss the most. Not a day goes by here when I don't wish I could watch my soap operas. Soap operas? I guess we're not talking about the same kind of operas. ¿Echas de menos tu tierra? Do you miss your homeland? I sure do. Living out here in the sticks don't hold a candle to life in the big city. ¿Por qué tu hijo se ha comportado de forma tan grosera? What caused your son to act so rudely? Oh, I threatened to have that weird Baron Shroudy come over to babysit him if he didn't eat his turnips. I guess he really didn't want that to happen. Do you know where the key is now? Well, he threw it out the window so it couldn't have gone far. ¿Dónde dices que fue a parar la llave? Where did you say the key went? I don't know exactly. Somewhere out there. Beneath the pale moonlight? Sure. Whatever. Es suficiente información That's enough information ahora. for now. Fine by me. window. Look how the red is juxtaposed with the green. It looks like a cross between Christmas and a Munich beer hall. You're always so negative, Frederick. Who's being negative? Both are festive occasions that involve heavy drinking. You can't go wrong with that. Y 
It's a window that's been broken from the inside. Based on the spiderweb effect created as the window was breached, the object in question was metallic, approximately 4 inches long, with a total weight not exceeding 27.5 grams. I would estimate the object in question flew no more than 23 meters. That's adjusting for a moderate wind, of course. Wow, Mona. You're either a great detective or had a distinguished career as a cat burglar before you moved on to opera. Pues yo creo, yo creo que habrá caído al pozo. I'm feeling adventurous. I'm going to fly down into the well and look around. You go do that, and I'll stand lookout for well inspectors. Scared? No. Just concerned that exploring a strange place might make me anxious, overly alert, and panicky. Uh, but scared? Never. Vale. Me la llevo esta congelada. It's a frozen key. I bet it's the same one that Mrs. Martinelli was looking for. Let's grab it and take it back to her. Uh, there's a slight problem. It's frozen under the ice. There's no way for us to get it out of there. Unless, of course, you have heat vision. Oh, do I? Is that one of my special vampire powers? That depends. You aren't from Krypton by any chance, are you? No. I'm from Pelly. Heat vision is out, but you do have the power to be incredibly rude to tourists. Qué simpático. Um, y el Q? No, espera. Hmm. A bucket might be useful. I'll keep it in mind. Vale. Tenemos el cubo. Tengo una idea. Si tiramos eso que está caliente sobre la llave que está helada, se supone que el hielo se, derre se derretirá. Now this ought to melt you free. I think it must have... Frozen? You think? It was a good plan. Oh, man! It's stuck under the ice. Vale, a ver. Vamos a ver. The well bucket won't work with that. The well bucket won't work with that. I can 
can't choose Froderick with that. Well, sinceramente, eh. What does that mean? Don't know, but whoever wrote it really didn't like Roy. Tengo una pequeña, pequeña idea. Well, maybe the saddle blanket can keep the stew warm this time. Vale. Con la manta supuestamente se mantendrá caliente. Vamos, digo yo. Anything, I'm afraid. Sorry. Ya la vuelto a liar. Espérate. Good. Vale. Now this ought to melt you free. Yippee! That worked! Funcionó. No way! I simply refuse to get my fingers messy. Help me out, Fodrick! Muy bien, ya tengo la llave. You know about that? You found it. To be honest, I didn't think you had the smarts to ever find it. Um, thanks. I guess. Ooh. Well, let's get to the stable. I'm freezing my keister off. It's freaking cold out. There you go, Buttercup. Meet, uh, what was your name again? Modern de Lafitte, of the Parisian de Lafitte's, opera singer and par arts graduate. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, meet Mona. You belong to her now. 
Quit your kvetching and get out of here before I sell you to the glue factory. Merci. Vale. Ya tenemos el caballo. Tenemos el caballo. Así que... Vamos a seguir. around it's so cold and wet like my nose feel it Ugh! no but I will keep this snowball in mind just in case claro queda media cruz destapada así que I'm going to throw a snowball at it maybe I can cover it up Vamos a taparlo del todo y a ver qué pasa. A snowball fight where the target can't fight back? Those are my kind of odds. You hit it pretty good and it's stuck, but it looks like the snowball isn't going to work. No, 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 me he confundido. La he liado parda. La he liado parda. Eh... I don't want to like my. Vale. Maybe this will add. He looks like a. Vale, yo creo que sí. Yo creo que así sí. I'm going to throw a snowball at it. Maybe I can cover it up. A snowball fight where the target can't fight back? Those are my kind of odds. I've seen better arms on a chair, but it looks like you got the job done. The black inky snowball covered it up pretty good. Ahora ya se puede entrar. Mona, the door's open. What are you waiting for? Head on in. I can't. For some reason, I can't cross the threshold of the doorway. I wonder if this has anything to do with the fact that you are currently life-challenged. Life-challenged? Just trying to be polite. I know it's a bit of a touchy subject. Oh, you with your silly vampire theories. It's only a curse. That is, until I find a way to cure myself. Okay, so maybe the fact that you can't enter the store has something to do with the fact that you're a walking corpse. Uh, I mean, you're a vampire. Bueno, vamos a dejarlo por aquí. Yo sé que es un poquito más corto, normalmente son 25-30 minutos, pero vamos a dejarlo por aquí. Espero que el capítulo os haya gustado. Poco a poco vamos avanzando y ya os digo, estamos en la recta, recta final. Queda poco, más que nada porque te pones a mirar cuánto es de duración el juego más o menos y queda muy poquito, así que ya veremos qué ocurre. Espero que os haya gustado y nos veremos próximamente con más sobre Mona. Hasta la próxima.